What's up everybody, welcome back to Barnes Box. Today we're unboxing the Life is Strange Double Exposure and its accompanying steelbook. Uh, this was available, I believe exclusively from Amazon here in the UK. I am not sure about other regions. Um, it was basically a pre-order bonus. I don't think it was any more expensive for the steelbook edition. And obviously, if you're not new to the channel, you'll uh, know that I'm a huge steelbook fan. So that was a no-brainer for me to get it from there. Um, like this while uh this is a sequel obviously to the life of strange series uh there was life of strange there was before the storm it was kind of a spin-off there was life of strange 2 uh life of strange true colors um and then this one uh but this one is a direct sequel to the original one because we've got max caulfield as the protagonist again um bit of controversy it seems uh, around the handling of the kind of sequel aspect of it because the ending of the original had two choices i don't want to spoil anything but it had two choices um and those choices are reflected in this game with a throwaway line basically and it kind of diminishes the first game a little bit by the sound of it i haven't played it yet obviously it's still sealed um but uh we'll see um aside from that though i'm very much looking forward to it because i love max caulfield as a protagonist, uh, quickly get into this standard game. Two timelines, one impossible mystery. So in the first game, she could time travel. This one is like she can switch between timelines. There's still time manipulation, but not rewinding. Uh, when Max Caulfield finds her friend Safi dead in the snow, she tears away. She tears. I tear open the package. Uh, she tears open the way to a parallel timeline. Here, Safi is still alive and still in danger. With her new powers to shift between two timelines, can Max solve and prevent the same murder? Uh, Max is thrust into a thrilling supernatural journey. Murder mystery. More dangerous than ever before. Shift at will between two parallel timelines. Uncover secrets. Of Caledon University. The only way to save Safi is to discover who murdered her. Can you do the impossible? So, yeah, inside. Just a disc. It's a cool cover though, I do like it. The two photos, because she was. Uh, photography was a big part of the first game. Um, and nice, so, still book here we've got. I think you can kind of see it. There's like a. It's matte, and then her hands, and. Herself is glossy. So yeah, her, Max herself is, is glossy, not just her hands. Which makes it stand out a bit. Don't chew the plastic, Aloy. We do have the title on the spine. It is the correct way up. It wants to focus for you. Doesn't want to focus. Why I hate it. There we go. On the back, um, I think it's similar to. Isn't this how the True Colors one was, where it just had the title on the back like this? Come on. It says the potential for something really good on the inside. Pretty nice. I do like a bit of colour on the insides. I hate it when they're just real boring. We've got some sort of bar scene. I assume this is a place we go in the game. Not for sale written on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, so on um, my desk in there. That is uh, a Life is Strange Double Exposure Steelbook. Um, Nothing too, uh, you know, not a whole bunch of stuff to show here. Just basically this steel book, but I do, I do love a steel book. So here we are. Um, let me know in the comments if you've been playing this game, if you picked it up, if you're a Life is Strange fan in general. Let me know what your favorite one is. I, I've only played the original. Um, I've never got around to the other ones. I do want to though. So yeah, uh, you can find me over on Twitch. I stream as inconsistently as possible uh, and um, I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys to check out 
a few photos, close-ups, and I uh, hope to see you next time.